32 states have now detected COVID-19 variants that were first found in the UK, Brazil and South Africa. That's putting even more pressure on hospitals and the vaccination effort. CBS 13's David Begno is in Los Angeles. Can we do a quick huddle? Wesley Willard manages the ICU here at Adventist Health White Memorial. This is one of LA's hardest hit hospitals. The most difficult thing is knowing that we're caring for a patient that may not make it. On his staff of more than 120, his first okay. lieutenant, Lana Bagwell. Okay. The strength that these nurses and these healthcare professionals have to do this day in and day out is amazing to me. She is one of the roughly 20 medical personnel sent by the U.S. Department of Defense. She has been on the front line right here for three weeks. I felt tremendous pressure to come in, learn everything I could, and really integrate myself and become part of the team. Adventist Health sits right in the middle of Boyle Heights, one of the hardest hit neighborhoods in Los Angeles. Willard says socioeconomic conditions play a role in this. About a third of all the families living here make less than $25,000 a year. They have multiple families living in one home. They're not able to socially distance. Some of the stories that I've read, you know, backgrounds of the patients, they're the sole breadwinners and they still had to go to work. This is, in many ways, ground zero. Absolutely. Willard himself is a West Point graduate, a former Army captain. He served active duty for five years, including one tour in Iraq. Given what you've seen in a war zone, how does this compare? I think there's a lot of similarities in the ability of our nurses to pull together, have that teamwork mentality, just like my soldiers did.